what would I say to my 30 year old self? So back, I, I, I was 30 back in, ooh, wow, 1998. Um, so I just kind of landed my first um, role as a, as a qualified accountant in um, 1997. So uh, I, I landed my first kind of like FC role back in 1997. And that role I really enjoyed. In fact, looking back, it's probably one of the best jobs I've ever had. Um, but I got the opportunity um, to go work um, with an estate agent because yeah, I was working for quite a reputable company, quite a reputable engineering company based uh, in Manchester, you know, quite a well-known name round and about. And um, I got a phone call asking, telling them that um, an estate agency wanted a, a company accountant and I was really into property at the time. I don't know if you could probably remember that Back in the early 2000s, everyone was going buy to let mad, everyone was buying properties, everyone was watching Sarah Beanie, buying properties and, uh, you know, updating them and flogging them and making, you know, 20, 30 grand, um, you know, just by putting the bathroom and central heating in. So I, I was I was really into kind of like the property market at the time and that that kind of kind of persuaded me to take the role. And looking back, I think that, that was potentially the crossroads when, you know, my, my career kind of you know, took a different direction because prior to that, um, you know, I'd taken a fairly steady path that, you know, I'd, I'd qualified as a, you know, I'd worked as a management accountant, I took my exams, passed my exams and uh, I got, you know, a, an FC role, <clears throat> which is like, you know, one down from a, a finance director level uh, for those not familiar with the accountancy world. So my, my career up to, you know, being my, my early 30s, um, you know, was 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 on, was on you know, kind of like a, a a good trajectory. So the, the the pivot came in two thousand when I was I was given this opportunity to kind of like leave a, a reputable you know uh, established company where I had a you know, you know a a good job and kind of like branch out into this um, into into being um, a company accountant for an estate agent. And to be honest with you, I absolutely loved it. Um, you know. I, I love anything to do with property. Not so much now, uh, but I did back then. I was, you know, I really had the bug. I was doing buy to lets and refurbs and all the rest of it. You know, watching Sarah Beanie, like we all were watching location, location, location. Every, everyone was hooked on property. You know, back in the early two thousands, and um, you know that was kind of where um, my, my my career kind of diverged. And um, looking back, I never I never really kind of kind of got back on on. The career directory. I I had I've had some you know, had some really really decent jobs after that, um, but you know if I'd have just wanted to go on on a steady trajectory from you know management accountant to uh, head of finance to financial controller to finance director, I would have you know possibly made a different decision back in you know two thousand when that call came to you know leave where I was at. Uh, and you know, and, and, and go work for a, you know, a, a small family firm of estate agents based in Stockport. So, um, what advice would I give to my to my younger self? I suppose, I suppose, looking back, if if I knew what I knew now, I'd, I'd probably probably say, do you want to go with your heart or go with your head? Um, you know, if you're going to go with your head, I would have stayed. Um, you know on the career director that I had and potentially becoming an FD. If I'd gone on my heart, I would have I would have gone down the route that I did, even though it was a bit more of a bumpy road. Um, and to be fair, it's probably <clears throat> it's probably led me to where I am now, rather than, you know, a, a career of, you know, probably half a dozen permanent roles. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I certainly enjoyed doing what I've done more than I probably would have done if I'd have kind of like been a bit more focused on on just climbing the career ladder um so I don't know um I'm 50 50 to be honest because um you, you know knowing what I know now and and how kind of um you know vulnerable I've, I've, I've kind of made myself by you know by, by taking a different career route it, you know it might be more sensible to you know kind of just stay you know with with the familiar path so I think I think that's that's 
a choice that you know everyone's probably familiar with at some point in their career you know you 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 probably you've probably made a decision at some point in your career that that's that's had had a profound impact on on the way that your career has progressed yeah i i mean i know every every job that you take is is um you know um the next step in your career either up down sideways or or whatever but i think you know we can all look back on you know a pivotal you know one or two events in your career and think you know was that the right decision at the time and looking back um like i say uh, it's 50 50 my, my advice if i was speaking to my to my 30 something self would be um you know look before you leap i i i i, I leapt <laughs> Uh, without looking so um you know there's nothing there's no there's no guarantee that i wouldn't have ended up in the situation i'm at i mean now if i hadn't um you know taken taken that you know kind of more uh, offbeat role but uh, like like i said in, in my previous video um you know I, I'm, I'm a maverick uh, I'm, I'm not possibly a typical fd um personality like i say i've started a youtube channel um so you know i think sometimes are, are you better going with your heart or with your head i don't know it'd be interesting to hear what what other people's experience have been if, if, if is, is there a moment in your career uh where you, you've, you've made a decision and it was a decision it wasn't you know i had i had a I had a good permanent job well paid a reputable company um you know and i, I could i could have stayed there i could I, I could still be there you know I, I could, you know i could have stayed another 30 years there if there was a final salary pension you know i could have retired at my age with a final salary pension and you know never look back um but you know i think i think we've all we've all experienced that in our careers at some point you know there's, there's a there's a tipping point where you, you know you, your career does kind of like veer off in 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 a particular direction and it's your choice it's it's, it's not it's not it's not i'm not i'm not particularly um asking you to comment on on things that will be on your control you you know you were made redundant or um you, you know you you were bullied or or whatever or, or you were, or you were desperately unhappy and had to leave i'm i'm, I'm kind of like more reaching out to to people who have you know made a choice um and whether they regret that choice um or whether you know they they, they just philosophically and, and accept that you know like the, the river of life will take you where it's going to take you and um you know maybe you don't have that that much control over it maybe it's it's you know not really your decision to start with so um just just a little short video this time i, did, I don't i'm not going to ramble on for you know 30 minutes like my last video because um I, I don't know how many people watched my last video to the end but uh, you know i thoroughly enjoyed making it and, and you know i can talk and talk but i think i'm trying to be a little bit more disciplined in, in some of my future content so um i'm going to try and wrap this one up under under 15 minutes so uh yeah it's it's an interesting topic i don't know whether um you know what you would say to your younger self or if, if you if you're uh, you know in your 20s or 30s now and you're, you're you're at a point and you're thinking you know i want to leap i want to do something different um have you weighed up the consequences of that um so i'm interested to hear from anybody you know whether you're at the start of your career halfway through your career or you're like me and you're reflecting on your career and you know whether you've made some some mistakes or not it'd be interesting to hear so um by all means please um leave a comment as always i do really enjoy reading your comments and um I think everybody else enjoys reading the comments as well because they, they get plenty of replies and plenty of likes. So um, yeah, it's all it's all part of the, the uh, we fade to grey community, and uh, I uh, I hope um, I hope this 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 uh, video resonates with you the same as my other uh, videos have. So uh, yes, please let me know your thoughts. I'll be uh, very interested to know. So um, until the next video, take care and good luck. Cheers.